All right, so I have been away with some running uh, events like half marathons and uh, you can check some of the results over here. And uh, next race is uh, 10K on 6th of April. So thinking this could be a good preparation since it's uh, nine days out and uh, this might help me to boost up the aerobic conditioning. Okay, 34 people at the start line. Let's go. See what happens. We'll try to stay somewhere in the middle uh, and see how it goes. Pretty serious power numbers. Someone is very far up front trying to pull away from the group, obviously, and uh, make some big gap, so no one can catch him. Well, I will not catch him, that's not within my plans for today. Huh. So we see, I can see 37 people. Just curious for how long this Number one will stay up front. Obviously, he has lots of confidence in him, but we'll see. All of a sudden, I have found myself in position number two. So, we'll slow down a bit. To be able to use some drafting boost. The plan for today and for, for this week to get some serious training scored and uh, to get some rest next week before the Saturday's race in the running. So, obviously, the race is a very good and beneficial exercise. And it's only one lap over here. The scenery is fascinating. So, it's a good race then. Although I remember in the stage one it was a, a lot more competitors. But I've been away for three weeks almost I think so it's either uh, people are losing interest or the timing is not correct or stage two is nearing its end and so everyone interested already got in and raced Got to catch the group.
getting harder to speak. So we'll be adding some comments later, obviously. All right, I am in position uh, eight uh, to nine at uh, this point and uh, still see the first uh, first place, first position. No, I can't see him actually. He's uh, he had pulled away and uh, number two is trying to pull pull away now. And uh, apart from these two guys, I'm still in the front group. And uh, although it's getting uh, a bit uh, more difficult to maintain the power. And uh, I'm not sure whether I would be able to, uh, to keep with these guys for the remaining of the race. Uh, that's uh, stage uh, two of uh, this series of the races. And uh, the first one, I think uh, I, I entered the race when it just started and there was a huge amount of uh, people. And uh, I suspect that uh, stage two is coming to an end, and obviously we will see stage three. I'm not sure about that, but uh, I think that explains the uh, rather limited amount of uh, competitors, uh, or uh, a bit uh, the, the, the incorrect timing uh, for that, as it's uh, quite quite early uh, on a Thursday uh, morning in Europe, so. Uh, Obviously, it's not the most convenient timing for uh, for many, I suppose. So staying nicely within uh, the group uh, at this point, everyone is uh, staying together and uh, trying to get uh, some. Uh, some drafting boost, uh, trying to keep within reach uh, from one to another. I have to admit the scenery uh, for this uh, race series is, uh, is just amazing. And uh, okay, this had uh, artificially been uh, created, obviously. Uh, or maybe not, maybe part of that is just uh, just uh, some uh, uh, replication from the reality, but uh, I don't think so. Uh, so the group, uh, some of the guys are pulling away now. And, uh, I am just not uh, finding any uh, resources uh, to to produce more power and uh, to try to stay with the guys. So at this point, I am realizing that uh, I will not, uh, I will just not be able to stay with the first group, and uh, obviously we'll have to settle down somewhere, somewhere at the back. Although I did quite a, quite a good effort and uh, the heart rate is uh, slightly above my uh, threshold and uh, I just don't see that uh, I, I would be able to increase the power and, uh, to try to catch up with the guys and uh, it is uh, getting tough uh, for sure. And uh, for the time being I am at uh, my reasonable maximum. So uh, at this uh, stage I'm hoping that I will not uh, finish last. As it's, uh, I'm just creeping dangerously towards the, uh, the end of, of the group. And uh, in position 25 out of 37. It's already getting uh, a bit tight. So I had closed in and uh, used the aero boost. 
Uh, I thought that uh, the timing probably is uh, right for, for this uh, power-up as uh, there is a bit of downhill and uh, with the higher boost obviously I thought that uh, I could use uh, all of the benefits of this power-up. So I uh, moved to position uh, 23. And finally 22, so uh, the heart rate uh, had dropped a bit and uh, I think I had uh, comfortably settled down uh, at, at around my threshold and uh, I am seeing that uh, it is approximately one third of the race. So uh, with this kind of effort, uh, hoping to uh, to maintain such uh, such power uh, numbers until the finish. So the guys had uh, caught me finally. Uh, obviously now it is a good timing to try to stick with them and uh, to place myself uh, within my group so that. Uh, to not use uh, all my resources uh, 100% and uh, to be able to save a bit uh, when uh, within the group. I think if I if I saw that dinosaur in real life, in real race, that uh, for sure would give me some uh, extra boost. Well, who knows, maybe there are some uh, very distant and remote locations somewhere in the world with, uh, with some uh, wild creatures, uh, but of course, uh, the dinosaurs are only existing and within this game and uh, some other fairy tales uh, but uh, that would definitely be a good boost uh, in the performance if uh, they were seen in the real life. So still comfortably uh, within the group. And, uh, the uh, logical step would be to uh, fall back just a bit uh, so that I could use that, uh, a bit of the drafting and, uh, now two guys are uh, uh, pulling away slightly so uh, if I can maintain that uh, location uh, allocation within the group that would, uh, would probably be nice and uh, I can see that the heart rate is around or maybe slightly below the threshold so uh, hope to to save some energy uh, so that I can uh, I can still utilize some of uh, some of the additional resources uh, towards the finish. The finish sprint had always been my weakness. Uh, I uh, seemed to uh, to waste all my resources, all my energy throughout the race, and uh, was just left with the. Is nothing uh, close to the finish, so uh, we see how it goes this time. Right. So the two guys up in front, uh, they are getting a bit closer, so there is a chance that we can catch them. I can see that the uh, heart rate keeps dropping a bit, which uh, on one hand is not a very nice sign and uh, is a sign of fatigue, and, uh, but on the other side is uh, mm, probably if uh, the position is still comfortable within the group, uh, so that's a good, uh, good chance to, to, uh, to have some energy uh, still in the pocket. And, uh, 
uh, hope uh, that uh, there will still be some energy left towards the finish. So uh, we are slowly catching uh, these uh, two guys up in front and uh, now we have uh, caught them. They have, uh, they have not been able to keep up with us and uh, we just uh, continue further. No, no, they're they're still keeping up uh, at the back, and uh, so we have uh, six or seven uh, people uh, in the group, uh, which is pretty nice, uh, which uh, leaves some uh, room for uh, for um, maneuvering, and uh, obviously the bigger the group, the easier it is uh, on the effort, and the easier it is to maintain some uh, some decent speed. Anyways, uh, 50 kph at this time with the 2 or 3 uh, percent the downhill uh, is still some decent speed. So uh, that's uh, obviously uh, around halfway into the race and uh, I can see that the finishing time uh, could, could be around uh, 30 minutes and I realized that uh, since my FTP is uh, 265 and 30 minutes effort uh, for the 30 minutes effort I could probably maintain something around uh, 275 watts so uh, that's uh, that's my target obviously to try to to keep uh, around 275 watts and to go about, about that towards the end of the race so position uh, 20 out of 37 at this point. I was just waiting for some uh, additional power-ups as uh, uh, as the guy, guys had closed in again and, uh, but still uh, I thought that I had uh, settled down uh, settled in quite comfortably within this group and uh, if I manage to, to stay with this group then uh, the, there will be some something interesting going on towards the finish or uh, at the last uh, kilometer obviously So the, the target is to stay with the guys and uh, to wait for uh, for the last K to, to see what uh, what I can do. So the power numbers are not high and the heart rate is uh, quite comfort comfortable just below the threshold. Uh, my threshold is somewhere in between uh, 156 to 160 so uh, I'm just hoping that I can still uh, uh, retain some of the energy so that it can be used uh, at the finish sprinting. And also uh, the guys around me in the group they are not uh, trying to pull away just now and, uh, so that uh, give, gives me some hope that uh, the finish sprinting will, will be interesting.
So still within the group, and uh, now we we see another one up front who is probably losing his uh, confidence or motivation and slowed down, slowing down significantly. So we'll uh, we're catching him and. Uh, There is an option that uh, he will join our group and uh, we'll have to one guy more. And so... Uh, and so, yes, he had... Uh, he's trying, uh, we can see that he's trying to, to, to stay with the group. Uh, so we are uh, one man more, which is good. Which is always good. Um, more people, more fun. Yeah, so this guy is just staying within the group. And, uh, using uh, the drop, which is of course wise and uh, less challenging if he had been on his own up front somewhere. We are still generating some uh, moderate uh, power numbers and uh, still preserving some energy for the final stint, for the final effort. I'm already starting to count the remaining kilometers and uh, minutes until the finish line or until the moment uh, something interesting would, uh, would uh, start to develop. So I was not sure what that plus sign meant. Uh, I was expecting to uh, get some additional power up, but uh, this didn't happen. And I saw someone in front was using the pyro, and so I uh, kind of uh, was expecting uh, to get one, two, or something similar, but not happened. Uh, but so we just carried on. So it's kind of scary to see that uh, close the gap sign as you obviously realize that if you don't then you will fall behind and uh, then from there on it will be uh, very challenging to to uh, get back to uh, where you were within the group and so uh, But this time I had managed to, to close in again and uh, Four kilometers remaining at this point. Uh, the heart rate is still uh, just slightly under the, the threshold. Uh, so, uh, with a bit of fatigue, uh, uh, I realizing that uh, although it, it feels hard, but uh, there is a chance that I could be able to produce some higher numbers towards the finish. <coughs> So there will be a race uh, towards the end uh, within this group. The leading pack had already uh, developed a uh, one minute and ten seconds gap in the front, which is uh, which is very significant. And, uh, 
uh, still lacking some fitness uh, to stay with the front back, obviously. Less than three kilometers to go, uh, which means that uh, every moment from now on there there will be a, there could be some uh, surprises that uh, someone might uh, start to pull away. And I will have to find something to respond to. So uh, the road is looking a bit slippery and I was thinking that uh, if this was the reality and uh, the road would indeed be slippery, what would I do now? But obviously uh, in the game you, you cannot uh, lose the traction and uh, slip away. And uh, So 2.3 k's to go and uh, I had uh, slightly increased the effort, um, the heart rate is uh, close to 160, so I am definitely at the threshold, occasionally going above the threshold. And, uh, I was already calculating what is that, uh, these two Ks, uh, probably around something around three minutes. And I was thinking like, okay, three minutes if I go all out now and then uh, would I be able to uh, keep at least uh, 300 watt until the finish? What is that 3 minutes? Obviously that's uh, slightly above than VO2 max effort and... Uh, some guys were already finishing and uh, there were some pretty serious power numbers like 8 watt per kilo for the uh, final sprint I believe 8.1 now, 8.6. These were some pretty serious uh, power numbers for uh, for the big cat. So 1.4k remaining, and uh, I was just thinking, uh, well. Wow. When is the time to go? The guys are patiently pedaling from uh, behind and uh, I just started to go now. With the 1k to go, I have increased the power output um, occasionally hitting 350 and the uh, heart rate uh, already above the threshold. So just uh, trying to stay as smooth as possible and uh, to generate as much uh, power as I can until the finish line. I can see that uh, five guys just uh, straight in the back of them. And they will obviously try to pull away and this is what's happening now. Mr. Doza who was uh, around uh, for most of the time are pulling away and uh, just trying to stick to the guys and just trying to, to keep up with them. Heart uh, rate is gender, dangerously up to 167 which is uh, well above my threshold. So trying to give, uh, to give it everything. 350, 359 and uh, Less than 200 meters to go, just trying to to go all out to give everything I can. Occasionally uh, hitting 400 watts. And, uh, no, I was not able to to keep up with the guys and uh, finished uh, 23rd overall, which is a decent result, I have to admit. That 
Go, step. <clears throat> the goal was to stick with that. Step. Second. Or whichever group. Until the end, but... Uh, I was trying to pull away. 1.1k before the finish. Maybe I went too soon. And I just couldn't produce that power the guys up front were producing. Nonetheless, I was feeling tired, but I still a good effort. And I hope it will still count on the race day next Saturday. So we'll see. Thanks. <sighs> Oh.